Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to use the Google Speech Recognition API. For this we will use the ready-made application given for us on this page. So at this URL you will find this page which will have the description about the API and the object we need to send to the server to get the audio recognized. So basically we need to send the data in JSON format and we need to send it to this particular URL and the request which we make is a POST request. In the JSON data we send there are basically two objects one is the config object and the other is the audio object. The config object contains the details of the properties of the audio we are sending and the audio object will have the contents of the audio we are sending for speech recognition. On the right side of the window we have a live executable application uh, which we can use to test the speech recognition API. It will directly give us hints on which object is missing and uh, which we can add here. So the main important parameters that need to be sent are the content. So if we are sending the audio data directly in the object body then we need to select the content parameter and put the audio data in between these two quotes in base64 encoded format. And if you want to get a audio file stored on Google Cloud Storage then you can send the URL of that object using the URI parameter. To do that again you have to store your file on Google Cloud Storage which I am not going to do and I will just directly send the audio uh, in this content object and get the speech recognized. And in the config parameters we need to send the encoding type. So there are multiple encoding methods supported by Google. Uh, one is the linear 16 which is just 16 bit uncompressed PCM data and the other is FLAC uh, format which is free lossless audio codec format and uh, there are other encodings also supported but we will only concentrate on linear 16 and FLAC in this. Google has extensive documentation on, on what are the parameters to be entered and what are the values supported by these parameters. So you can just right click on these objects and you can navigate through all the objects and the parameters. So for the demonstration what we will do is we will first uh, try to recognize an audio file uh, sent in FLAC format. So we will give the encoding as FLAC and uh, we give the sample rate as 16,000 and the encoding is ENUS and the content uh, and in the content part we need to enter the uh, FLSE file uh, content encoded in base64 format. So for this what I have done is I have some audio files recorded on my smartphone and uh, these are the files which say how are you? How are you? And uh, we will take this file and use this tool called audio.onlineconvert.com and convert to flag. So we will upload this file How are you? And we change the bit resolution to 16 bit. And we change the sample rate to 16 kilohertz and the audio channels to mono. And we say convert file. So we got the how are you dot flag file. Uh, we will take it and paste it here. Now we cannot directly send the contents of this file because they are all in binary format. So we need to again base64 encode this file contents and we can and we can do that using this tool called as giftofspeed.com slash base64 encoder. So this tool just takes the binary data present in the file and converts it to base64 encoding. How are you dot flag and it will give us the contents we just need to copy it and go to the speech recognition tool paste between the double quotes and then we can execute. So the response is 200 ok and the transcript and or the result is how are you and the confidence level is 0 0.98. So this is how we can get a uh, audio content uh, recognized by Google and it can directly convert the audio content to text. So this is one of the files now let us try another file. Now instead of sending the data in FLSE format I will send in linear 16 PCM format. 
Now to convert the audio file to linear 16 format, we can use the tool Audacity and we will drag and drop this FLAC file which we got converted and we just paste it here and we say file export audio uh, and in this option we say other uncompressed files and in the options we say raw headerless and the encoding is signed 16-bit PCM and we say save how are you PCM so we should get a file called as how are you PCM yeah here is a file how are you underscore PCM dot raw now again we need to get this file and get it converted to base64 we just refresh this page and choose file how are you underscore PCM so here is the contents just copy it because this is linear 16 encoded or it's just uh, PCM data the size of the data will be more compared to other compression methods so we take this and paste it here and we go ahead and execute it so the result is correct now similarly I have made other files here uh, which is welcome welcome to the embedded world now using this I also created the raw file which is uh, just a PCM or linear 16 encoded format using audacity so we will use this file to get the data copy it paste it between the double quotes execute and it says welcome to the embedded world now this is what we are doing using the redmid application given by google now suppose if you want to send raw http requests we can use the tool called fiddler and we just create a post request to the URL shown there and when you're sending data from your own tools or different clients other than the Google page we need to add this key uh, you, you can get the key from Google developer console and uh, then uh, I'm adding the key here also it's not actually necessary now here uh, we just need to you know uh, copy this content whatever is present here and paste it and say execute so Fiddler will uh, run the post request and return the result here so the result is welcome to the embedded world so this is how you can recognize audio through Google speech recognition API and uh, you can implement this in your own device like suppose if you have a 3G device like uh, SIM 5320 then you can uh, you know record the audio from a microphone and uh, send it through Google speech recognition and you can design your own uh, Amazon Alexa or Google home kind of device uh, using this speech recognition application soon I will be making one more tutorial on how to recognize audio using the Amazon Alexa API thank you for watching